Hello my beautiful Capricorns and welcome to your love reading for late November heading into December. I hope you're doing well. I have done a pre-shuffle and um, look, I do see that you could be dealing with someone quite manipulative in your love life. I'm not sure whether it's your person of interest or whether it's someone who's involved in your relationship somehow. We will get to the bottom of it. Um, but I am seeing the Magician and he was coming out next to the King of Swords. Whenever I see that duo, whenever I see those two characters together, I feel like it's the, the one person who's possibly playing mind games, someone who's very strategic, someone who likes to pull the strings, right? So they're, like, they're liking to, um, having control over other people and manipulating the situation, okay? So just watch that, okay? So that's the Magician, and I can see from your advice cards that you're going to need to remove yourself from any toxic um, games being played or toxic people. You've got Surrender the Drama, and you have Surrender Unhealthy Relationships. So, you know, walk away. Basically, if you feel like um, someone can't be trusted or if, if you feel like someone's gaslighting you or just bringing out the worst in you, making you feel manic, um, walk away, okay? It says no matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm, don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. This person might try to rope you into the drama and like, you know, get you angry, get a reaction out of you, but spirit is saying just let go of relationships that don't serve you, um, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. So you're going to need strong boundaries. You're going to need to just say no, um, enough's enough. And then you've got surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, then all you can do is turn the situation over to the divine and let spirit work its magic for you. Okay, so don't try and be vengeful and, and get back at this person that might have done you wrong. Um, let karma do it, right? There's a saying, there's a saying. Um, uh, let the rotten fruit fall on its own. Uh, you know, look, there is someone manipulative. I, I forgot to show you. We have the Seven of Swords here, so someone being sneaky. Um, someone with a really big ego. We have the Six of Wands here. Someone who likes to be the center of attention. Someone who is sneaky and then tries to get away with it by blaming, um, by blaming other people. Do you know what I mean? Like, they create drama and they whisper and they gossip and then they try and act like they're the innocent ones. That's who I'm seeing. That is who I'm seeing here. Now it could be the person you're dealing with, but it also could be a friend, three of cups in the reverse, a jealous friend, something like that. It's always possible, but I'm getting this person, you know, hiding behind, um, you know, a lie, a narrative that they weave to make themselves look innocent. Nine of wands. Okay. Um, and I, as I was shuffling the pre-shuffle, I got the hermit in the reverse and I was thinking what spirit's trying to, spirit's trying to tell me something because that hermit in the reverse kept staring up at me and it, I often, um, associate the hermit reversed with someone who's trying to fly under the radar, someone who's not, who's, um, coming across as something else when they're, when they're completely different, right? So wearing a false mask. It's definitely coming through here. Um, let's see. What else was I getting? Don't listen to everything that, that gets told you the next couple of weeks. Because I'm seeing, here's you, the Queen of Coins, right? And we have the Ace of Coins. This person is like telling you something, whispering in your ear, trying to create havoc is what I'm getting. So just be careful. We have the moon in the reverse, you know, lies coming out, the truth coming out. Okay. 10 of swords in the reverse. Someone tried to clearly betray you. I'm getting jealousy here. Um, and, but whatever the situation is, I'm getting it clearly. You're feeling stuck. We have the six of swords and the chariot both in the reverse. 
So you don't know how to move out of this situation. You don't have to, uh, you, you don't know how to um, escape the drama, but why not just walk away? You don't need to prove yourself. You don't need to um, clear your name. I feel like this person is going to fall on their own sword is what I'm getting. Angels and Spirit, what is the message for Capricorn in love? Late November, heading into December 2021, please. Hard decision. So this decision might be whether you walk away from your person. Um, yeah, so you're stuck in indecision is what I'm getting. Angels and Spirit, please show me what are the messages... What are the messages for Capricorn? What's the advice for Capricorn? Or it could be that you're waiting for your person to make a decision and you feel powerless. Because the Magician and the King of Swords, remember that duo, strategic, manipulative, keeping you guessing all the time. So, you know, you need to apply it to your situation. It's going to be different for every single Capricorn. But I'm just telling you what the dominant energies are, okay? Yeah, so I'm seeing someone testing the waters. So it could be... This um, deception. Someone's testing the waters to see if they get a reaction out of you. They're not telling you the whole truth because we have hard to open up. Um, so, you know, we got that with the Nine of Wands. This person likes to keep you in the dark is what I'm getting clearly. We have... Denial. Being in denial over the relationship ending is prolonging your own suffering. Time to let go. So this person wants you to keep thinking that um, they're going to choose you or they just need to let go of A, B and C and then they're coming back for you. That's the kind of thing that I'm getting. Let's see. I'm going to use the simple love advice. What does Capricorn need to know regarding this situation in love in late November heading into December, please? What does Capricorn need to know? What is their advice? Okay, we've got shaking the hourglass. So um, there's, there's a need for patience. When someone's rushing you or, you know, trying to... Mm, hurry you up in terms of making a decision that's a red flag right so just be patient allow things to unfold and come to light that, that card came out again angels and spirit please show me don't try and force the truth out of your person of interest I feel like it's going to come out itself This person is keeping you holding on to them so that you don't entertain any other options is what I'm getting quite clearly. So you're stuck in this situation and you're kind of like giving so much energy to it, but the other person is not. We have unbalanced. So you're more invested than your person and that's how they want to keep it. Um, so they're keeping you in, in some kind of an illusion is what I'm getting because we have the projection card and it's talking about sometimes seeing only what we want to see in order to feel safe. So... This person is allowing you to continue on with this illusion and, you know, you could be obsessing over them or wanting them to, to offer you something 
but um, I'm not I'm, I'm not getting that I'm getting dangled carrots I'm getting deception but there's something valuable to be learned from this situation because you have you are perfect and this card talks about whatever bringing you to this exact moment in your life what sorry whatever has brought you It'd be good if I could talk I'm very tired um, it's been a set of perfect events and influences so whenever you're feeling anxious or worried um, you need to remind yourself that you're perfect who you are where you are experiencing exactly what is at hand the honest truth Capricorn is just that there's assholes out there and not everyone can be trusted and we have to kind of um, just learn to walk away when someone isn't being honest with us or when we can't trust someone to do the right thing by us right angels and spirit what are the messages for Capricorn in love late November heading into December yeah I'm getting wants you back this person could be in and out. Angels and Spirit, what are the messages for Capricorn in love? Late November, heading into December, please. Some things are better left unknown. See, you're being kept in the dark about certain things. Do leave me um, feedback in the comments section, Capricorn, and like this video if you would like to see more Capricorn content on my channel. Um, please just engage with my stuff. Angels and Spirit show me what does Capricorn need to know? situation. One more shuffle. Okay. They will return. Dishonest can't be trusted. Stand your ground. Stalking you online. Love bombing. Now, love bombing is, is a manipulative tactic. So trying to, um, I don't know, inundate someone with, uh, I don't know, romantic interest, messages, trying to sweep them off their feet, um, and then withdrawing all of a sudden out of nowhere. It's, it's, um, you get addicted to that rush, that love bombing. So that's um, a real manipulative gaslighting technique. It's um, a favorite for the narcissistic types. Okay, so just be careful. Um, I want to do this deck for you. Ms. Capricorn's advice in love, please. In late November, early December 2021. So it could be that, you know, your person just isn't taking the relationship to the next level and is keeping you kind of hanging. Um, you know, you're wondering, are they, will they, won't they, you know, keeping you in the dark. Um, you need to pull back. I'm clearly getting, you know, less is more. This card here talks about don't you be the one initiating all of the time. You've got be engaged but not totally interested. So when they're love bombing you, don't um, reciprocate. You need to practice the art of detachment 
And from the very beginning, we got cards saying, you know, walk away from unhealthy relationships, let go, um, walk away from the drama. So you need to practice the art of detachment, play it cool and not overly interested. Um, take a step back and see if, you know, they can put their money where their mouth is. There's definitely an imbalance going on in this connection and you got that card. So you seem to be more invested than they are. You've got a card here saying pay attention to the false alarms. Not everything is as it seems at the moment. So stop chasing if you want to be chased. You need to let them pursue you and let them show you who they really are. Okay. Um, yeah, clearly getting, you need to t take a step back. You've got your independence is a turn on for them. So don't bend over backwards to please maintain your independence. That is your advice in love. Um, I hope this reading was helpful, if not what you wanted to hear. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Cappies.